Hey guys, it's Devin here with Admiral Off-Road, and today we're talking about crawl ratio. Before we get into calculating your crawl ratio, let's first talk about what it is. Now, your crawl ratio is if you're going to put your vehicle in the lowest gear you can, so four low, first gear, how many engine revolutions would it take to make your tires turn one time? The way we calculate our crawl ratio is we take our transmission ratio times our transfer case ratio times our axle ratio. To give you an idea how this works, as you're driving, you have power going through the engine to the transmission then from the transmission to the transfer case, from the transfer case through your drive shaft out to your axles. Now, the way this happens with your ratios is, uh, let's say we have a three to one ratio with our transmission. That means for every three revolutions of the engine, we're gonna get one revolution from the output shaft of our transmission. That then goes to our transfer case. Let's say again, we have a three to one transfer case. That means for every three revolutions of the transmission, we get one revolution of the output of our, trans or our transfer case which is our drive shaft. And then if we have a three to one axle ratio, that means for every three revolutions of the drive shaft, we're gonna get one revolution of the axle or one revolution of the tires. So like what we said before, your crawl ratio is how many engine revolutions per one revolution of the tire. So to do that, we just multiply each one of these ratios together. Now, a lot of times when you see people putting larger and larger tires on their Jeep, the first thing they're gonna do to try and correct this crawl ratio is they're going to add a bigger axle ratio. So they're going from, let's say, 373 gears to 456s. That's just the ratio. So if somebody says they have a 456 uh, axle, that means their axle ratio is 4.56 turns of the drive shaft to one uh, turn of the wheels. So another way you can adjust your crawl ratio, uh, other than your axle, is by doing two transfer cases. Now, what this allows you to do is when you're driving on the street, your uh, ratios aren't changed at all. But if I were to drop both transfer cases in low, now I have my transmission times my transfer case ratio times my second transfer case ratio times my axle. So what that allows you to do is allows you to really get a really, really high crawl ratio without affecting your normal driving. Uh, the higher number for your crawl ratio means more revolutions of the motor for uh, one revolution of the tires. So that's a lower ratio. So a higher number means a lower ratio. So now that we know how to calculate our crawl ratio, what I've done here is I made a little flow chart that has all the different options that the XJs had and all the ratios for each. So we'll start off with transmission. Uh, if you have an automatic, you most likely have an AW4 transmission, which has 2.80 ratio. Uh, if you have a five speed, you pretty much have an AX15 transmission, which has a 3.83 first gear ratio. Uh, with your transfer case, you're either going to have a 231 or a 242 transfer case. Either way, they both have a 2.72 ratio. Uh, the way you can tell these two apart without having to get up underneath the Jeep is if you look at your transmission shift lever, if you have a 231, you have a two-wheel drive, uh, neutral, four-wheel high, and four-wheel low. If you have the 242, you have two-wheel drive, neutral, four-wheel part-time, four-wheel full-time, and then four low. So just a little difference on the shift levers there, um, but either way, you do have 2.72 ratio there. Um, with the axles, is where we have the widest range of ratios, um, so this is where you're really gonna have to pay attention with what you have. If you got a five speed, most likely you're gonna have 3.07 gear ratio. If you have an automatic, you're gonna have a 3.55 ratio. If you have a tow package, you're gonna have a 3.73 ratio. Uh, this one's kind of a rare one. It's the fuel economy package on pre-1987 Cherokees. You might have the 3.31 ratio. Uh, if you have a four-cylinder, a 2.5 liter, or on the older Cherokees, if you have the off-highway vehicle package, you, uh, you're going to have 410 years, so 4.10. Um, so take what you have here and you do your calculations. So for me, I know I have an automatic, so I have a 2.80 times a 2.72 for, uh, for my transfer case, and since I have an automatic again, I'll multiply that by 3.55. So take whichever numbers you need, multiply them together, and that's gonna give you your crawl ratio. So another cool thing we can do now that we know what our uh, crawl ratio is, is we can actually calculate our speed. Uh, here's the equation to do that. You're gonna take your engine RPM times your tire diameter, and you're gonna divide that by your crawl ratio times 336, and that's gonna give you your speed. Now, this equation works if you're in four-wheel drive low and first gear, you just take your crawl ratio that we already calculated. If we're not, though, let's say we're in two-wheel drive and in second gear, 
we're going to have to replace our transfer case number and our transmission number. And uh, here's what I have written out. So if we're in four low, our transfer case uh, our gear ratio is 2.72. If we're in two-wheel drive high, or, or excuse me, two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive high, we're just going to put in a one for that because our transfer case has a one-to-one -one ratio then. If we're in second gear, let's say we're driving an automatic, so we have that AW4, our first gear has a ratio of 2.8 to zero, or 2.80, excuse me. If we have second gear though, our ratio is 1.53. Third gear is 1.00, and fourth gear is 0.75. So you just uh, put this number in instead of the uh, 2.80 for first gear, you just substitute whichever gear you're in. So first gear is 2.8, Second gear is 1.53, third gear is 1.0, fourth gear is 0.75. If we're in an AX15 or a uh, five speed, again, first gear is 3.83, second gear is 2.33, thir uh, third gear is 1.44, fourth gear is 1.0, and fifth gear is 0.79. So again, if we're in two wheel drive, we substitute the 2.72 in our equation with a one. And if we're in any gear other than first, you just take whichever gear you're in and that ratio and substitute it for your first gear ratio. Alright guys, well that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please put them down below. And if you like what you saw here, please like and subscribe. Thanks.